This is the sound of the Vuvuzela, an instrument that has brought so much joy and irritation at the FIFA World Cup in South Africa. Vuvuzela is a Zulu word that means welcome, unite and celebrate. The football fans here in South Africa have come from different countries, but the majority have embraced the Vuvuzela. The sound of Vuvuzela is a beautiful sound. It's wonderful, wonderful. It adds a lot of uh, uh, atmosphere to the game, to the matches. I think it shows the spirit of South Africa. The man behind the Vuvuzela is 55-year-old Freddy Maake from Shekopo village in Limpopo province. Hello, hello, how are you? My name is Adam Maake in South Africa, I'm a soccer slave. Welcome to my house, everybody. You are welcome. He landed on the Vuvuzela by chance when as a teenager his new bike's horn malfunctioned. 1965, when I tell you, uh, my brother bought me a bicycle. And the bicycle used to have a so-called the hooter. But I had to take the rubber off and blow. From then on, this is the result. Millions and millions of Vuvuzelas have been sold all over the world, especially during this World Cup period. I love the Vuvuzela. We had to get more Vuvuzelas because we ran out of stock already today. With millions of runs generated from the sale of the Vuvuzelas, Freddy, sadly, is not smiling all the way to the bank. I don't get any cent out of Vuvuzela, but it's all over the country, even Europe, overseas, it's a Vuvuzela. He lost a court battle in the Vuvuzela brand ownership. But the father of nine is a proud winner of different football awards all over the world. Yeah, I was the best. I, I was voted best supporter of the year to present South Africa, my country. <laughs> For his love of football and his vuvuzela, Freddy has lost two wives, but his third wife doesn't mind his passion for the game. My husband has contributed a lot of his time to football, his time, his family and everything, but we are very proud of him. At the stadium, his invention is not music to everyone's ears. The vuvuzela sparked off a fierce debate at the Confederations Cup last year and at this year's FIFA World Cup, as some coaches and broadcasters urged FIFA to ban the plastic horns from the stadiums due to their destructive buzz. Some of the visiting fans have also had a problem with it. You know, if they're too close, uh, your, your ears will hurt. Too loud, but still, you can't hear the singing. Earplugs. This has created another money-making avenue as earplugs have become hot property at the World Cup. Love it or hate it. The Vuvuzela is here to stay. Different fans have had different views about the Vuvuzela, but what is a fact is that the instrument has gone down in history as the symbol of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Michael Kinyi for Citizen Sports in Johannesburg, South Africa. Thank you.